Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yay, so I figured this episode, you know, I'm gonna start scaling things back a little bit and not completely. I figured, you know, the stuff that we will be launching isn't really going to be that big. I mean, we, this isn't full, so it really doesn't make any sense to really just launch some massively huge rocket for no reason, but. I have some plans here for at least the sandbox. I will be starting on the modded series once again here pretty soon. I, I just been kind of taking it easy, guys. I, I know that I've been sounding like a broken record, and I, I really don't want to make you guys tell you guys constantly over and over again uh, all the reasons of everything that's going on, but yeah, so. I'm looking forward to at least starting to get back into the groove of things. I don't know exactly how long that's going to be until everything is back to normal, but I'm figuring it'll be pretty soon. I, that's all. So, oh, you guys are really loving this asteroid colony, I do gotta say, and I'm really loving it as well. I'm thinking it looks pretty awesome, but we have to add a lot more to it for it to really kind of get the shape that I was really expecting and wanting. So I, I do have some other plans for it as well. I don't know when I'll be implementing them or really doing a lot with it. And I don't know if I'm going to be doing it on the modded series, but I think I'm going to lay off on the modded series at least for a little bit right now. Mostly because I don't really want to screw up any of the mods or anything installed and I really don't know how the new update really reacts with the old stuff or if it changes anything or if uh, any of my parts in the game will get destroyed or what have you. But uh, basically, yeah, that's just what I'm going to stick with for right now and I'm going to keep it on the old update at least for a little while. Until I am sure that basically I'm not going to lose anything. What I'll end up doing is probably something like basically just kind of testing the waters with it here and there. I just got to get the time to do it. So just give me a little bit of a break on that and I will start working on the Jewel 15 carrier again. So in this episode, the one thing that we'll be adding is just a major, major fuel tank to this station. And this will probably be the only fuel tank. I'm not sure 100% if uh, maybe I'll be adding another one or just what have you. I, I really don't know. There, there's a good possibility that I, I'll probably end up adding another one at some other point. But right now, I think I'm going to stick with this one. The one thing I'm just a little curious about as far as the asteroids and everything else is their stability is because it really isn't there a hundred percent and a lot of people have been noticing this as well I guess I'm not the only one to complain that the asteroids themselves just don't really have that level of stability to them whereas if you build something like a station or just even massive structures like the bigger ships I've built the uh, Kerbin tanker along with the jewel Explorer and a lot of other ships I've built in the past even though they are very massive and they weigh maybe a thousand tons they really don't have or they do have a lot of stability whereas these asteroids at least for right now they it's very unpredictable as far as what kind of stability you're going to have and I, I just don't like that uncertainty with certain things in this game, whereas construction could be really shoddy, and, and that is the main problem, is if, if, if it doesn't work out the right way, I'm not going to be able to build the base I want to, but I'm going to try and see what I can get, but I really don't know how far we're going to be able to go with it, and if it's even going to really be feasible. At least at this time. So, anyways, guys, I'll see you once we get very, very close to our asteroid.
And we're back, guys. Yeah, so I got some bad news. Some other bad news. I totally forgot to even mention this before, but... Um, you know, I got the telescope and everything. And I was talking about it the last episode. And I was talking about possibly taking some pictures of the eclipse that just happened, like, two days ago. And... yeah... So I happen to live in New York, and basically, it was the cloud cover was so thick that I could not even see through any any of the clouds. I, I just couldn't see anything. I, I literally, I had a better shot of watching it on live stream than I did actually doing anything involving that. And speaking of live streams and all of that other good stuff, I was thinking, uh, possibly. Oh, excuse me. I was thinking possibly in the near future of possibly doing another one. I can't really promise you when, but the one thing I was thinking of, which I thought would be awesome, is when the next eclipse, co eclipse comes around. Eclipse. When the next eclipse comes around, which should be, I believe, in October-ish, somewhere around like the 8th, I think. I, I, I don't honestly remember. But I remember just looking at it and uh, thinking, hopefully... Now, if it is clear that night, I was considering, possibly, if I have everything, if I have all the utilities at that time to do it, to possibly do a live stream of the Eclipse. Now, I don't know what that will entail and how much and, and what I will have to do. A, you know, basically everything I don't know basically what I would have to you know basically do to do all of that but I was considering doing that I, I just don't know if it's going to be feasible I don't know if there's going to be any problems whatever I mean if there's cloud cover that night obviously I won't do it so it, it's just all kinds of things and you know it's one of those kind of things where you'll say yeah I can do it but if there's bad cloud cover or if there's all kinds of different variables then you know, I, I don't want to sit there and tell you guys, oh yeah, I'm going to do it, and then I just don't do it that night. So, let's just cancel off this motion here in a sec. I think we're going to be okay. Now, I did do a little bit of testing on this, and I'm not attaching this on the top here, so I have no problems with the way it is, at least for right now. So, I think we got to go a little bit more forward, and that, I think we'll be alright. Yeah, that, that's looking pretty good. I'm just trying to factor for when we angle this up. So, I don't know what that's going to bring. Ooh, not that way. Not that way, and this way. There we go. Something like that, I think. It seems a little off. Yeah, yeah, I think we gotta go this way. Now, I did bring enough RCS fuel. I was a little concerned that I might end up burning through a little bit too much of it or whatever, but I think everything's going to be all right, at least for now. And we are getting very, very close to this. So, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, this way. There we go. So, I think we're going to have pretty good control over this. I tried to put, you know, some stabilization on it on the top. That way... It isn't going to be jumping around and rocking around, and it seems to be working pretty well. I do know that, um, you know, it, it's going to cause some problems, but there's not very much I can do about that, so. Let's see. How close can we get before we're basically, like, just bumping right into the side of the thing? There we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Slow down. Oh, no. Those aren't the right controls. There we go. Oh, God. So, nope, 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 nope. The controls just got switched around a little bit, which is a little annoying, but th that's not that bad. Let's see. All right, we got to go this way. This doesn't seem like it's 100% straight, but I'm, I'm not going to complain, at least for right now. Let's just see if we can get this thing docked up first. Oh, God. There we go. Stop. And I'm trying to eye this, which is never 
when when you're docking, it's just never a good idea. Hopefully, we have enough room that engine doesn't bump into anything and doesn't cause any problems. It's like we just got to go down a little bit, which isn't going to be much. The gravity. Yeah, there we go. The forces took hold. And I think it's a little crooked, which I don't like. There we go. Now it's a little too crooked that way. I'm too much of a pessimist. And I have too much OCD. There we go. Just turn off the SAS. That way it can start to line itself up a little bit. If it needs any more corrections, I will be doing that. What is going on over here? That looks like... That does not look right at all. I, I don't understand what's going on there. That, that That's just craziness. Oh, let's see. How close is every... Is that good? I, I'm thinking that's okay, but... Is the engine clipping in there? I, I really don't feel like this is 100% stable. So, let's see. Is there, like, a way for me to control from here or anything? I should be able to control from the reaction wheel there, but I, I guess not. I, I guess I could just do this, and this would probably give me a little bit of an idea. Yeah, so I don't know if that, that is 100%. Yeah, no, it's not. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good at all. So, we'll turn on the RCS. Actually, what I'm going to do first is speed this up, because this thing is about to destroy itself. I don't know what's going on with that. I, I've noticed stuff like this happening already, and that is just... I don't know what's the problem with certain things like that, but it, it's just... It just doesn't look right. It... Uh, that's the best way I can... S because it's the only thing I can really say, to be honest. I, I, I really don't know what's going on with some of the stuff in this game. It really acts really funky at times. Even this is acting really weird right now. Turn on the SAS. Get the control back. And... Yeah, we're heading off at like 6 meters a second, which is not good. Not good at all. Come on. Come back. There we go. Come on. Yeah, and we're not even heading in the right direction. There we go. Come on. Now, I did put these at basically 90 degree angles because I know a lot of people complain about that so I fixed all of that hopefully that works out really well but it doesn't seem to be really doing much considering this thing is just spazzing out right now alright alright go up a little bit more I think I'm going to have to eye this one. That, that's pretty much the best way is it, it's going to get. I, I really don't think there's any other way of doing this. I, I do realize that this is a little bit crooked. Everything's a little bit crooked. So there's going to be no way to actually perfectly line this up. But th that is going to be probably as good as we can get it, at least for right now. Come on. All right, all right, and perfect. So yeah, I've been really loving my chemistry class, and I've been taking chemistry. I've really been kind of obsessed with chemistry a little bit here and there. It's not like something that's like my favorite subject, but I really have been enjoying my chemistry class and everything I've been learning and all these new things that I otherwise didn't know, and... A lot of things that I thought I knew about chemistry, and I was really just kind of mistaken here and there. Um, just certain little things, mostly, that I, I figured. I was like, oh, well, I already know this, and it's just amazing stuff. 
I, I don't know how people really do a lot of this because there's certain things I still I've, I've learned already and I don't understand it even a little bit so it, it's just been an ever going process of just learning and trying new things and seeing where everything is going to go there we go we should get a dock here in a second there we go perfect now this thing is going to start spazzing out what is wrong with that? That that's just not right. So we now have a fuel tank on our asteroid base. And we'll get rid of this. Hopefully that ring goes away. I would really appreciate that. That looks awesome. Please ring, go away. No one wants you here. No one lacks you. So we'll transfer over the fuel. And I, I really didn't, I, I made sure that these were empty mostly. I, I, there's no point in having these full fuel tanks being brought out here and it just doesn't make any sense to be honest to have full fuel tanks and all that other jazz. So we got a pretty decent size uh, storage. I, I'm, I'm pretty much okay with the way it is for right now. I don't think I'm going to be adding any more tanks. I think I said that already but and we'll see as the future goes on. I, I don't know. I have some plans for this base, but at the same time, I don't know how much of it we will actually use and all that other stuff. Because right now, I have fuel spaced out pretty much everywhere. I got some fuel on the asteroid here. I got some fuel now on Minmus, on the surface of Minmus. I got the Jewel Explorer, the Kerbin Fuel Tanker, the Moon has fuel on it and, and in orbit and along with Kerbin. And... Duna. There. There we go. I'm like, why is Duna purple? Over here. Yeah, yeah. There's tons of fuel in Duna, too. I, I have probably... I don't even know. It's, I think, about six orange tanks full. Something like that. I, I don't even remember anymore. So, anyways, guys. We now have a fuel tank on our asteroid base. And, uh, yeah. So, if you guys like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come. To all you new people, welcome. And, uh, yeah. I will see you next time.